that's a lot of seed. From, I don't know, 15, 20 flower heads, that's it. There's several hundred seeds here. Hey, this is Grow It, Build It, and I'm going to show you how to get seeds from false sunflower, also known as Heliopsis helianthodes. Uh, this is a tall perennial, about four feet tall, um, blooms for a very long time and brings in lots of pollinators. Um, the seed comes right off the seed head if you just break up the head a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've got four seeds in my hand right now, and there's a pile on the table. Um, if you only want a few seeds, uh, if you just want to make some more of this plant in your garden, you could just bust up a couple seed heads and scatter them around where you want them. Um, but uh, I will show you a, another way to get a whole lot of seed if you wanted to share them with uh, friends or whatnot. Um, to do that, all you really need to do is to get your trusty Tupperware container of some kind and dump all your seed heads into that, close the lid, and shake it up for... I don't know, right around 30 seconds, and that'll knock all of the seeds loose, or most of the seeds loose. And it keeps a lot of the chaff just still on the seed head. Uh, if you really want to make it cleaner after that, you can then strain it a couple times through a regular kitchen strainer into a container, which I'm going to do here. But this perennial, it really bloomed a long time in my garden, about three months. Now, it's not supposed to live that long, and it's supposed to go to seed quite a bit, which I'll find out just how much this spring, but I really recommend it for your garden. It's showy. If you like how sunflowers look, you can basically have them all summer long. If you want more detailed information on how to uh, grow and care for this plant, go over to growitbuilt.com. We've got a detailed article up there, so check it out, and I'll put a link in the description. And uh, but as you can see here, I've got hundreds and hundreds of seeds. Um, so this is obviously after I've let them dry out for about a week, uh, the seed heads that is, and now I'm just bagging them up and I can store them for a long time in a cool dry place. Um, but that's about it really. Uh, it really, th this plant really brought in the uh, uh, butterflies and the bees though, and I only had around I don't know, 20 seed heads and I got hundreds of seeds. And we'll go back to the clip of the butterflies just so you can see it again. This was uh, silvery checker spots though. Uh, kind of fun to just watch them for a minute. But if you like the video, please click like. Please click subscribe if you want to see more from us. You'll get notified when we put up new videos. And uh, thank you very much.